Shemai, Yashala, Yahawa, Alahayinawa, Yahawa, Akha, Shemai, Yashala, Yahawa, Alahayinawa, Yahawa, Akha, Shemai, Yashala, Yahawa, Alahayinawa, Yahawa, Akhad. All right. Kwam Yashala, all honor, praise, and glory be to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Wahaku Dashwaka, double honors to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone who are well. Peace and blessings to the faithful elect, those slated to be saved from the destruction, throughout the destruction, promised to America, appointed to America, and all the wicked inhabitants hereof, man. Right? And those saved, these slated to be saved were to be the Israelites who consist of the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You men teaching the truth, and you men, women, and children have turned back in truth and sincerity and in spirit, you see, to your heritage. Shalom. So this lesson I'll be going into, the Lord puts you back together, made you come to life, you see, next is immortality. So we're going to start with this. You know, the Lord, he puts you back together, man. Because at, at a point in time, we was broken down. You was broken down. You didn't know who you was. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know who I was. You see what I'm saying? We was in the lowest state. The Lord completely had us broken. We, you know what I'm saying? Broken, broken to pieces. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And, 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 but it was only for the Lord to put us back together. But he first had to, you see what I'm saying, put us down. You see, thus being more proof that we truly the Israelites. He had to break us up, you see, because the prophecies had to stand. Real quick, let me get this real quick. This is, uh, this is uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. And who is the mouth? The mouth is the prophets. You see, the prophets prophesied, start with Moses, that, you know, our people, we would go into slavery. We would be discontinued from our heritage. You see what I'm saying? On the Jeremiah. You see what I'm saying? And we'll be, we'll, we will be broken. You see? On to uh, Micah. You see what I'm saying? So it says, uh, and the Lord tell us right here. Isaiah 46, Salakia, so Isaiah 44 and 26, that confirmed the word of his servant, and who is his servant, the prophets, you see, and performed the counsel of his messengers, you see, the angels on earth, and you know what I'm saying, the angels, uh, which are the angels in the spirit of, uh, uh, the, of the heavens, and then on to the, you know, the, you know, the, the angels themselves, you know, physically other heavens, but it says uh, ultimately other heavens, you know, but you get what I mean. So that bring, that brought the message on a, how the Lord was going to break us down, man. Well, guess what? The Lord confirmed that. You see, he 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 kept his word, as he said. So the, that confirmed the, the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messengers, you see, because his servants, uh, 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 <coughs> His servants spoke to the house of Israel. You see what I'm saying? All his prophets. Because they were of the Israelite nation. So all these things that the prophets spoke about to the Israelites went on to happen. Us being broken down. And Lord confirmed that. You see? So that confirmed the word of his servants and performed the, and performed the counsel of his messengers that saved to Jerusalem. Thou shalt be inhabited. You see what I'm saying? We'll come back uh, 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 to this. Matter of fact, let's keep going. Thou shalt be inhabited. And to the cities of Judah, ye shall be built. You see? And I will raise up the decayed places thereof. See? But first, he had to break us down. He had to fulfill 
the word. Because why would he? Why would we be built? Because the Lord would have broken have broken us down. He would have went on and confirmed His word. You see, because the Lord keeps His word. He's not a man that He shall lie. This is uh, as the scripture say. This is Isaiah fifty five and eleven. One more time. It says, "So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish." that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. See what I'm saying? So the Lord, what are some things that he said? Let's get it. The Lord said he was going to mar the pride of Judah. Now, when you go into the word mar, it's a lot yeah. When you go into that word mar, I'm going to read the scripture first, though. This is a... Uh, I'm going to start at verse uh, 8. It says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, right? Prophet. Thus saith the Lord, after this manner will I mar. You see, after this, this manner. So he was being specific. Will I mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. <coughs> you see that? So when you go into the word mar, Bear with me just a moment. Yeah, Satan. Let's see something real quick. When you when you go into the word mar, that word mar right there is destroy. You see what I'm saying? Like it tell us in um in Leviticus in the law, man shall not mar mar the uh corners, you see what I'm saying? Of his head, paraphrasing. But let me go ahead and pull this up for us. Let's get this thing working. I don't know what it's doing. Jeremiah 13. And we're going to go here. 13 and... Nah. That's this matter. Will I mark? Okay, here we go. 877843. And the word right here is Shakath. It says to destroy. So the Lord, the Lord is saying he was going to destroy. That's some of the words that his servants uh said to our people, that said to us, for not uh foretold to our heritage, I mean to our lineage, our ancestors, on down to us. You see what I'm saying? Which is which which is talked about uh in Lamentations, that he was gonna destroy destroy us. He was going to mar us. You see? He was going to completely destroy us. You see? To decay. Ruin. And when you go into the word decay, see if I can get it. When you go into that word decay, I don't know what this is doing. Bear with me just a moment. Let's go here. Okay, I think it's something going on with my internet. <laughs> so, so lucky about this. It's not. But yeah, man, when you go into the decay, it pretty much goes into rotten. You see what I'm saying? Up until the point the Lord, you know, he will make us bones. So he's literally telling us he's going to destroy us. So, you know, since I can't get these definitions, we're just going to get these scriptures and call it one. This is uh, Lamentations chapter 5 and 7. It says... Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. You see what I'm saying? 
So the, we 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 everything that was foretold to our forefathers, right? What happened to us? See that? And that's the Lord marring us, marring that pride. You see what I'm saying? As He said He would, you know. And 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 and, and you know the pride of life. He took he took that all he he took that uh off of us. You see. So. Let's get some more scriptures. This is uh like right here. This is Psalms 10 and 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance. So the Lord took away our countenance, man. You see what I'm saying? In the spirit. You see that? It says the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. So that's why the Lord did it. You see that? So he 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 broke us down. Just to uh, just 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 to uh, 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 you know do something great. See that the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. See. Now let me get one more. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. Go into the lesson. This is uh, Isaiah forty and four. It says, every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the, pl rough, pl and the, and the rough places plain. See what I'm saying? So, pretty much, the Lord had to bring us down, right? In order for you to be brought up, the Lord has to pretty much uh, uh, beat, beat, have you down. And ultimately, he had to break us down. He had to destroy us down. You see, which is what the Lord does. You know, they people build up like the Edomites. They build up, but the Lord said he shall throw down. This is Psalms 34. Because that's what he did. Uh, that's what, that's the state. For example, he need us in. You see? For a reason. It says, uh, let's start at verse, this is Psalms 34 and uh, 18. It says, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a, of, of a broken heart, and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. But the Lord said, uh, pretty much, he was going to break us down, man. He was going to break us down. Now we can go ahead and get into this. This is Micah 3 and 1. And I said, here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob. And ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment, who hate the, the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off of them, from off them, and their flesh from off their bones? You see that? Who eat also the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off of them, and they break their bones and chop them in pieces, as for the pot and as flesh in the cauldron. So pretty much, that's going into, uh, uh, you know, our makeup, who we are. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Your covering. You see? And that happened due to the Lord keeping his word, which he used his sword to bring forth. So I'm going to get that real quick. This is uh, Psalm 17 and 11. Psalm 17, I'm going to start at 11. It says, they have now compassed us in our steps. See that? It says, they have set their eyes bound down to the earth like as a, as a lion that is greedy of his prey and as a um, salaki and as it were a, and as it were a young lion lurking in the in the in the in the in secret places, Salakia. You see? So that's that. So that's how the Lord got got that done. He used these people to do it, which uh is the so called white man. He's like a lion, a lot lion on the left hand side, man. And he's greedy. And you know, lions they destroy their prey. They 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 lick off everything uh one lick from a lion's tongue take off skin, flesh and bone. You see what I'm saying? And that's that tongue, man. 
Now, that tongue ultimately, let me go ahead and finish this. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. You know what? Let me jump down. This is, uh, yeah. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. From men, which are thy hand, O Lord. You see, so the wicked is the Lord's sword. So that's how he get it done. Why? And then I'm going to, you know, speak on that tongue part real quick. But before I do that, let's get this. This is Psalms 47 and 2. The, for the Lord most high is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. So the Lord, he's terrible, man. So that's why he, that's how he gets down, man. So he sent the lion among us. And you know, when a lion uh, uh, is after his prey, it's th this type particular lion, a so-called white man, he's likened up to a left-hand lion. And the thing with the lion, you know, their teeth are not only deadly, but their, their tongues is, when you look up the, the pretty much how, how it works, they're able to lick the fur and skin and flesh right off of right off of uh the bone, man. Just just by licking the, the thing the thing. You and that's that's said about the wicked. That's said about the so-called white man. This is Psalms 58. Matter of fact, this is Psalms, I believe that's the 50th chapter. This is uh, 16. It says, but unto the wicked, God said, what has, thou to, uh, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Now, why was he doing that? Because the devil, he's deceitful. deceitful. But this is how he got our people. Uh, that was pretty much the bait. Making our people think that uh, he wasn't who he truly was. And that was a, you know, a bloodthirsty you know, uh, uh, you know, wicked line, if you will. This is Proverbs 28 and 3. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors. And this is the word of peace. You see that? But mischief is in their hearts. See that? So that's, 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 that's that. Now going back to Psalms 50 in the 50th chapter. <laughs> It says, but uh, verse 16, but unto the wicked, God said, what hast thou to do to declare my uh, statue? That, that, that's why. That's why he was doing it. You see what I'm saying? Pick up the book, make our people think he can believe them. But in the, uh, in the midst of him doing that, that's, you know, all for his attack. You see what I'm saying? So he can lick that bone, so he can lick, lick the skin and flesh right off of us, man, in the process of doing this. You see? It says, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. You see that? That mouth. It says, uh, we're going to jump down to 19. It says, thou givest thy mouth to eat to evil, and thy tongue frame, and thy tongue frame it deceit. So when the, the so-called white man licking his prey down uh, uh, skin and flesh off the bone, it's, him, it's, like, it's, it's by him speaking unto us, man. And he's able to, through, through that, he, he pretty much spoke, spoke these words. And that was like an unto him jumping on us. He approached us. Watch this. That's beautiful. It's a lucky. This is Sirach. In the 14th chapter. In the 10th verse, Salakia is that second answer. No, that's Sirach. Sirach in the 12th chapter, the 10th verse. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble and go crouching, you see what I'm saying, like a lion. Yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him uh, as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not all to get, uh, has not been altogether wiped away. 
You see? So that's like, that's his move. That's his preparation. He humbles himself. He cries down like a lion. And that's right, him walking up to us. You see, I'm cool with the, with the scriptures. You see, he approached, he approached our people with the, with the, uh, 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 in the schools as a teacher, as a, as a principal. You see what I'm saying? As the NBA commissioner, as the president, that's him crouching and humbling himself. You see, and he, he ultimately has debate, uh, uh, which will be things our spirit inclines to, and ultimately the scriptures. And once he and he speaks that, that's like enough to him already pouncing on us. And once he speaks these scriptures, that's his tongue framing deceit because he can't speak anything but deceit, which is why the Lord said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? And then that, he flipped the whole script. You see what I'm saying? He told our people we were, we were black in the process of reading the scriptures to us. He told our people they were Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Indians, Cubans, all these different things. Westerns, Afro, Europeans, and all this other madness, Australians, whatever you, you want to call it, man. So this guy got the, in the, in the, in the whole time, that was the father using him to ultimately bring forth everything that the prophets, right, are also our ancestors foretold to our ancestors, man. Their own nation, their own people, their own flesh and blood, the Israelites. That the Lord was going to have us discontinue from our heritage. The so-called white man was going to lick it right off of you. You see what I'm saying? Who you are, your whole makeup. That's the Lord confirming his word. If you can receive it. You see? And ultimately taking that understanding with doing that, you take... Cause that's what that's that's a part of our heritage, having understanding. You see what I'm saying? A hundred percent. Real quick. This is uh Sirach in the seventeenth chapter and uh eleven. Besides this, he gave them he gave them knowledge and the and the law of life for an heritage. You see that? So he gave us the the law of life for a heritage. And listen, he shewed he he made an everlasting covenant with them, our ancestors, us, because we bear everything that's theirs, and shewed them his judgments. You see, and shewed them his judgments. So a part of our heritage is the knowledge. And the law of life, that's our heritage. And that covenant, the holy covenant, which has us in this, 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 this state today, which have our people in this state today, but us no more. Those that have awakened, which we're getting to. It says, and shoot them his judgments. So that's a part of the, our heritage, man. But that was licked off from us. You see what I'm saying? So this is Micah 3 and 1. And I said, here, I pray you. O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? You see what I'm saying? But that was licked off of us, man. Our makeup was licked off of us. It says, who, which was pretty much the damn so-called white man through the spiritual demon Satan, he was able to get us out of that, man. It says, get a, he was able to get, get us out of who we were, our whole makeup. Who hate the good and love the evil, you see, who pluck off their skin from off of off them and their flesh from and their flesh off their bones, who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones, and they break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot and as a flesh with the in the cauldron. And I can bag that up too, right here, real quick. This is this is Psalms 14. And um, four, have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon the Lord. You see that? So now, let's get this one last one and we're going to go into it. So the Lord broke us down, which you're going to see right here in just a second, man. Because this is him confirming everything he said he was going to make, you know, make good on. You know, he's going to bring through. 
But ultimately, he promised he was going to make good on it. This is Ezekiel in the 37th chapter. So if you've been marred by a lion, you've been licked down and, and, and stripped out of everything. You see what I'm saying? And that's ultimately who you are. That's what that's telling you. This is Ezekiel 37 and 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the, uh, of the Lord, Yahweh, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. You see, which is full of bones. And he caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, they were very many in, in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. So it's talking about our people, man. Our people are in that dead state. You see what I'm saying? Our people, pretty much the after effects of the Lord discontinuing us from our heritage by the so-called white man, who's compared to a lion. And a lion licks their prey flesh right off of them, man, through their tongue. And the Lord told us who this, with, in which the so-called white man is compared. But his tongue, you see, spiritually, but his tongue is compared, uh, his tongue is said to be, it's to, it's to frame deceit. You see what I'm saying? Cause you deceived if you see if you if you if you've never seen a zebra and you see the uh the skeleton of a zebra and you think that's what a zebra looked like. No, that's deceiving you. Because the flesh is no longer there. So you can't even truly see, you see what I'm saying? You can't even truly see who this uh 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 what this truly is. Because of the 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 the, the uh the lion's tactics. In which he lick, he licks the bone, he licks the flesh and skin, the whole makeup of the zebra right off of him, right off the bone, to where it's, it's, it's nothing but the bone. You see what I'm saying? He strips it. He's he's able to through his tongue strip the zebra from what the hell he just was to being no more, to bringing him to the state of being no more, a bunch of bones, man. That's what so-called white man did to us, but it was all by the father, man. Lord willing, this is making sense. I ain't trying to sound deep. It says, uh, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I and I and I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. And he said, and again he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, thus showing you their people, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Because this is why they're dead. Our people don't have this word. We were dead because we didn't have this word. So this we was a part of this, 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 this pile of bones, myself and you included. It says, Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And that's the wisdom. Because that's said in Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. That's wisdom. So at this point, you're going to turn back into who you are. And you're going to ultimately come to life. So now the Lord put you back together. You see what I'm saying? He's putting you back together. But let's get that real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 7. I'm going to start at 24. It says, for wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes it and going, and going through all things. By reason of her pureness, for she is the breath of the power of God. You see, in a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty, therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. You see that? So uh, uh, ultimately, uh, when the Lord is breathing that breath in, breath in you, that, that's only going to be by wisdom. You see, he wants you to come alive. Because if you have breath, you have the spirit of God. And when you got the spirit of God, you're going to... Uh, uh, you're gonna be of God, man. You're gonna do. You're gonna. You, you're gonna show it. You see, AKA you're gonna have wisdom. You see that? So that's that. So now the Lord puts you back together, man, and He made you come to life. He made me and you come to life. So He had a purpose in doing what He did. So it's beautiful. Now. Finishing that off in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. I know I brought out a lot, but you know, this is Ezekiel 37 and um, 35. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, 
Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. You see? And what's the breath? The breath is the wisdom. The breath is doing what the Father say. You see what I'm saying? The breath is 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 taking the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah and, and, and putting it, you see what I'm saying, to use. But if you're not putting it to use, you're dead. You see that? This is Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of God, the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. So there you go, man. So, you know, once you, you know, you take these commandments, aka this, this wisdom, you do what the Lord says, you will have wisdom, and you're going to come to life. You see what I'm saying? So now we're doing what the Lord said to do, man. And that's how we know the Lord has put us back together, man. And he's made us come to life. See that? So this is Micah finishing that off. So the most high is, you know, this is, a, this is a work of art, man, by the Most High. Shalaki, not, uh, I was right where I was supposed to have been at, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 37, it says, 6, and I will lay some news upon you and will bring flesh, bring up flesh upon you. Because you don't, and that's the covering, man. That's just, that's the covering. That's your makeup. You see what I'm saying? That's what keeps you good. You ain't out here exposed and out here bad. You see what I'm saying? Dead. So when you don't have, because when you don't have, you only gonna you only gonna be alive when you got the the uh, uh the the knowledge of the law of life, and when you take hold of it, the book of life, all that keep it shall come to life. So since we keeping it, we're alive. We done came to life, man. But let me go ahead and finish this, and I will lay some news upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you. And will and, and cover you with skin. You see? So the skin is just a covering. It says, and put and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. You see that? This is verse uh seven. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. So that's when you first heard the truth. That's what happened. The Lord, you was, a, you was a corpse walking around, and you you stumbled into the truth. You met a man of the Lord, man. And the breath, uh, the, the skin, the sinews came into you, your skin, your covering. And the Lord put that breath inside of you, man. And he made, he put you, he was putting you back together. And, and, and now you took a hold of the book, of uh, the knowledge of, of the law of life, man. You took hold of your heritage again. You learned who you was again. You came back to life, man. You ain't worrying about what the hell that's going on uh, uh, in the fake world. You worrying about the devil doing his big major plans. You seeing what's really going on. You seeing, uh, you know, how they putting pestilence out here, how the Lord is, is, is truly jacking uh, Jake up and bringing judgment every morning. You seeing how this is the end of America. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You're not wasting time on petty things. You ain't in, you, you keeping your talks in the, uh, uh, of the heavens. You see what I'm saying? You done separated from uh, uh you don't want you ain't you you're no longer wandering out of the way of understanding and so you can uh uh pretty much just be amongst the congregation of the of the dead. If you know you're not doing these things, the Lord, because he put you back together and he made you come to life, man. You ain't on life now. You seeing the chariots, you seeing the White House panic, <laughs> you talking about what the world leaders and, 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 and politicians are concerned with. And that's world domination. That's world rulership. That's who the, uh, 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 fighting for the next power. But it's already written who it's going to be. It's us. And you in on these things. That's life. You ain't worrying about a damn backwood, a damn swisher, swisher sweet, a damn cigarette. You ain't worrying about none of these. A pop, a Mountain Dew. You came to life. <laughs> You know, you worrying about the herbs. You dealing with health. You see what I'm saying? You dealing with these dead broads out here. 
dead niggas. You ain't doing none of that. You ain't black no more. You ain't Mexican. You ain't a Native American. You ain't Latino. You Yasha Allah, man. You the prince of the power. You see that? You ain't worrying about the fashion of this world anymore. Things that pass away. So you can't, the Lord put you back together and you came to life, man. And now we doing it. It says, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them, covered, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. You see what I'm saying? So it says, then said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, say and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live, and that's wisdom. You see what I'm saying? It says, so I prophesied, he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and that and they lit and they lived and stood upon up 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 upon their feet, an exceeding great army. And that's the one third, man. Starting with the 144,000 on down, man. You see, and this is Revelation 16 and 15. It says, Behold, I come as a thief in the night. Blessed is he that watch it and keep it his garments. You don't go back to sleep. You don't let the devil. Lick you anymore with his tongue, the damn lion, and strip you out of you know everything you are. You see what I'm saying? The Lord ain't having that no more. Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. See that? So the Lord is 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 beautiful, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and close out. This is uh Isaiah. 44 and 26, it says that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers that saith to Jerusalem, thou shalt be inhabited. That couldn't be possible. Listen, and to the cities of Judah, ye shall be built, you see, and I will raise up the decayed, place, the decayed places thereof. But it started with us first because we're a people before us a place. Jerusalem is a people before us a place. And if we're going to be built and raised back up, we would have to be uh, broken down first. See that? <laughs> so the Lord is making good on his word. How can the kingdom of heaven come and the people don't even know who the kingdom are? The, kingdom of, the, the people of the, of the kingdom of heaven don't even know who they are. So we seeing this, this happen, you see what I'm saying, in live time. You see? That saith to the deep, be, be dry. And I will dry up the, thy rivers. That saith to Cyrus, he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure. Even saying to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built. And to the temple, thou thy foundation shall be laid. You see what I'm saying? Because we're the temple of the Most High. So he can't have us in a dead state. So he's raising us back up, man. You see, so the Lord put you back together, made you come to life. And next is immortality, man. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> So now we seeing that. That's the next thing promised to us, man. This is a. Uh, we just got to stay patient. It says Romans 2 and 7. Yep. Because now that we doing this, the Lord said we're going to come to life. We done took hold of the book of the law. You, you see what I'm saying? All that, that uh, take hold of it or come to it, paraphrasing, and Baruch shall come to life. Romans 2 and 6. Who will render to every man according to his deeds. You see? So you couldn't be in a dead state to receive this. You have to, you have to fit this. You see what I'm saying? To them who by patience, patient continuance and well-doing seek for glory. And honor and immortality. You see? Eternal life. You see that? So that's it, man. So to them who by patient continuance in well doing seek for seek for glory. You see what I'm saying? And honor and immortality and the uh eternal life, man. So we 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 done said it. That's next, man. So the Lord, He put you back together, He put me back together, He made you come to life, He made me come to life. And next, man, is immortality. So we just got to stay focused and patient continuous, as the scriptures just said. So, Lord, willingness has been edifying. I'm going to give our honor, honor, praise, and glory to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah. Till next time, Shalom.